Hey, get away from that door. The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. Tapele gathered a group to go to the sub-level. They're probably all gonna get killed. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? A civilized person with manners. Very rare in this part of the galaxy. I am most honored to meet you. If I may, a question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? 
powerful Jedi holocron. You flatter me, Traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. A discerning question. The reason is simple. The market of buyers is limited on Dantooine. If I were on course and I could make a fortune with this, my dilemma is I lack the funds to travel. So I cannot reach a better market, so my price is reduced. But you travel. Surely you could find a Jedi buyer. Can you help? You are a curious person. Too kind to be in this sector of the galaxy. Forget the Holocron Traveler, I apologize for the deceit. It was sold to me with false pretenses, and I've been forced to continue this cycle. Dantooine has been the pit of misfortune for me. The less said of that, the better. I am one step lower than a beggar, I know. I just need money to get off this planet. The settlers treat us with scorn and disdain. Parting them with their money is almost a service. You've shown more civility than I've ever seen on this planet. But still, I must try to get enough money to leave here. 500 credits. Probably a small sum to you, but for me, it might as well be the price of a star cruiser. You are most kind, Traveler. You've given me a chance to go home. Here, take the fake holocron. I don't need it anymore. So, what should we talk about? There isn't much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated by settlers, mercenaries, and us. They want nothing to do with us. The only thing they want is part of our profits. Now that salvaging is running out, I doubt they will tolerate our presence much longer. I don't know nor care. They're trouble, but fortunately they ignore us. When they're looking for work, they mainly bother the settlers. We come from many different planets, drawn to the rumors of fortune. I believe the early salvagers did make some credits, but latecomers like myself barely find anything. Early salvagers said that the ruins were mostly empty to begin with. Many think that the administrator didn't allow us to salvage until her people were done with it. Missing. We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub-level, and we get swarmed by Lagrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business.
Jiren knew the risks. He wouldn't do anything different if he was in our situation. Ah, the Traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about?
Something you need. What is it? What is it?
I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. 
Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of peace and protection. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many decades ago, were once Jedi Knights, as were Revan and Malak. It is perhaps more amazing that some still trust Jedi after many have fallen and endangered the galaxy. It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. And that is a frightening thing indeed. Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings, or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training, in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him of the rightness of their actions. What else would you like to know? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world, or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. What else would you like to know? I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? 
I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. It was almost the end. But at that last year, the year before Revan vanished, Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows why. But it was all that saved the Republic. The fleet the Sith had amassed was no more, and the remaining Sith turned on each other, destroying the Academy on Korriban. It did not matter. Revan had already won. The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them, and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception. But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions.
Someone out there? Anybody? Help! Blade are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! You must be fierce with a blaster, then. Hey, give me a moment. I sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave. Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. They like tunnels. We never saw much of them except underground in the hilly regions. I guess to a leg wreck, these sublevels must be like paradise, though. There certainly are enough of them. You know, what's frightening is the beasts are getting smarter. I've heard they've even laid traps for us salvagers. Sounds crazy, but it's true. It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So this level is about the only place that's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down here. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down here. Not that it matters. There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the biggest halls ever. Tapele said we could do that too, but they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back. One died right away from his wounds. The other man was gonna be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight, and there was no one left. And that's the whole problem. Well, since every last one of them is dead, their find is sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever. They won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some try to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. Well, certainly. Just don't take too long. I don't know how long before those beasts come back. No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. Fine. I did grab a couple of things from the room we were in, but it's just Jedi garbage. Now, I hadn't thought of that. We could arrange something like that. That would work. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. Or a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. Now, that'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. Well, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits, and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less than I make off real good. You can buy it from me here or at the salvager camp. I'll hold on to it for you. I owe you that much, at least. Just don't take too long. <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you. And now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you, I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like, but if you don't like what you bought, it isn't my problem.
Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, Jedi, we shall fight.
I feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Oh, that again? I sold Sulru the moisture vaporator in the same condition it was in when I found it. Finders keepers. I've got a permit that allows me to salvage anything on the Enclave grounds. I didn't make up the laws here, but I abide by them all the same. You're a bit demanding, aren't you? If you want the modulator, I'll sell it to you for 500 credits. The same price I offer to Sulru. I guess I was being overly selfish. Here, take the modulator back to Sulru. Ah, the Traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? Jiren says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for a reward. You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. Because anything valuable in the ruins was carted away months ago. The only salvagers left are either desperate, ornery, or not right in the head. And while you look dirty enough to be here, I don't think you're any of those things. So go back to Kunda. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. Admiral, this is Mikal. I have found the exile. Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. I'd only hope to get the modulator back. I never imagined you would get my money back, too. How did you do it? Really? You must have been very persuasive. I'm relieved this situation is finally resolved. You have more than earned this reward. 